we got our first teaser for the next big DC movie. Shazam? No. Mm -mm. Birds of Prey. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. Let's do it. The quickie synopsis for this Kathy Yan Birds of Prey movie reads as follows. After splitting up with the Joker, Harley Quinn and three other female superheroes, Black Canary, Huntress, and Renee Montoya come together to save the life of a little girl, Cassandra Kane, from an evil crime lord, a.k.a. Black Mask. So, and this is coming out January... Man, I'm uh, into that description. Uh, it says January 2019. I'm going to guess 2020. Year. Yeah. Uh, that's a year from now. Yeah, man. It's coming out soon. But it's also nice to have this teaser up front. You mentioned, similar to the... Joker movie star. The Joaquin Phoenix Thank Joker you. movie, where it's it's kind of a costume test put to music, basically, or or, or is creating a tone. I'm into this. I mm. think I, I think it's a cool way because uh, a good example of the other option is the new Spider-Man costume in Far From Home, where we saw like paparazzi photos. And it's like if you know that's going to happen, do this. Uh -huh. Show us this costume test because it's a good way of like letting us in on it, presenting it in a cool way. So then once we start seeing these photos, it's like yeah, but I already. I already got the cool version of that. I don't. I don't need these. The way so, that the director and the team want us to see exactly. That. And so this is a fun. Like a lot of people took screen grabs. God bless everybody who took screen grabs of this. They were more dedicated than I was. Uh, that helped give us a cool idea of what this movie is going to look like. First up, we did get a, a peek of Harley Quinn. Yes, there's a being, lot to break down here. Yeah, she's a little more sporty than she was in uh, Suicide, Suicide Squad. Squad. Or a clothed. A little more clothed, <laughs> and it uh, like cleaned up a little bit because they made everyone look dirty in yeah, that yeah. movie. But also, it's just kind of worth mentioning that a lot of her tattoos look to be gone. There was one article I read online. I'm gonna. It's worth mentioning at least now. Yeah. Someone was saying that this is a prelude to Suicide Squad? I'm going to go ahead and throw that out. Yeah, that, that, doesn't make make any, that doesn't make any sense. Based on the synopsis we just read, yeah. it makes zero sense. So it looks like a lot of her tattoos are gone. Yeah. Like, there's a lot, like, there's, like, stuff over here. Here's here. what I'm going to say. There's one that was, like, on her, like, just, like, up below tummy, above crotch region. It's like, nah, I can go ahead and get rid of that. I like the tattoo of the heart on yeah. her face. And also, you have a pretty easy out for that because in this universe, both Harley and Joker took chemical baths. So their skin might not, just might burn through any ink that's inside of them. Yeah. That's so a one line th a dialogue done, to get rid or, of that. <laughs> no lines. Yeah. We just all move on with our lives. <laughs> True. Uh, but also, I did like that we were able to see her like trademark mallet, which is fun. Yes. And uh, someone met, uh, uh, broke down online that are, Bat is a, it says good night repeated all over it, so cool. it's a good night bat, which I'm nice. like, that's fun, makes it night night. Yeah, it's something I liked about this teaser. Uh, before we dive into the rest of the characters, it's like we were talking about with the Spider Man trailer is it sets a tone, it sets a mood, it, as opposed to just like, oh, here's scenes from a movie. It's like, it's more of like, here's the feel we're going for, mm -hmm. and I like that. I like that it feels different, it's got like. You know uh, what it I, reminds me the most of, and I think this is a segue to another character we're talking about, is the Black Canary run where she was a pop singer. It's that kind of got that edgy, fun, pop punk energy to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, no, good segue to Black Canary. Let's talk about Journey Smollett Bell and her trademark, trademark blonde wig hair. She looks awesome. She looks really I'm going to cool. be honest with you. It's dumb. I'm glad it's blonde. I'm glad she's blonde. It doesn't matter, mm. but I think with characters like Black Canary who who don't have like the helmet mask, the kind of the hair is part of the costume. So even though it doesn't matter, I want her to see her blonde. She's blonde. That, she kind of looks like Jennifer Lawrence a little bit right there. Yeah, it's and and there's a moment we've got a uh, next to her. We've got a cover from the black one of my favorite Black Canary runs that was before Rebirth. DCU. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, she. Um, uh, there's also a brief shot, what looks like her with a microphone. So it looks like we're pulling from that version of Good the character, call. which I think is really cool. It's really unique. It's really interesting. And, and I think it could be really fun to see in this movie. Isn't that, but like, besides her being Black Canary being like the, one of the best fighters in the DC universe. Yes. Does she have more than that? Like, I mean, like, as a back, when it comes to backstory, she was trained by, like, uh, Ted Grant, and, like, there's other stuff yeah. like that, but it always kind of comes back to fighting. And, like, yeah. she has a relationship with Green Arrow, but with this, it's like, she has a very distinct, like, this is something that she had herself yes. before all that. And I like yeah, that. And, it's, and not only, not only is it for those reasons, but it was also fun. Mm -hmm. It was a fun, and, and it played to her ability, which was the canary cry. So I think if I've, I want to see more of that version of the character, and it looks like we're getting that, which makes me excited. And I like the touches of black, so she's got a black canary, and the gold, like, talons, because it's yeah. like, kind of like a bird, kind of like yellow. There's a lot of fun little nods and little touches in their costume where it's not like um, 
subtle nods in other people's costumes. Like yeah. if you see like the Flash wearing like a red shirt, it's like got it, mm-hmm. Flash. Uh, in this, it's like this is like a very distinct, unique take on their costumes. But moving on, we can talk about Huntress, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, yes, as Helena Helena Bertinelli, most likely. There's yes. a couple different versions. The of The other character. main version is Batman's daughter, which would be shocking. Yeah, that would Helena Wayne. That would be really weird. I mean, I guess you could do it with older Batman. But I feel like uh, but why? Helena Bertinelli is yeah. more popular, at least a little bit more well known. Yeah, I mean, she was in the Justice League animated series. On Arrow. Yeah, uh, she was on Arrow. That version was on she Arrow. Was on Arrow. Um, in traditionally in the comics, that version of the character, she was the daughter of a mob boss whose father was killed in a mob hit, and so she translated that into take down crime, mm-hmm. which I don't quite. Because yep. the dad was, but whatever, you know what? That doesn't matter. Uh, and typically, she butts heads with Batman because she's a little bit more violent than Batman is. Oh yeah, and she got a trademark crossbow, which you see in the trailer, yes. and her hood. And I think her whole costume. Someone pointed out online that the midriff costume, which I thought yeah. was kind of fun, making yeah. it a little bit different, uh, is from a 2002 run of the character. Yeah. Which sometimes I'm like, if you're going on a battle, you might want to cover up a little tummy, all yeah. the soft organ parts. Especially right there. that version of the. It's cool her, here. Her costume is cool, and that one is it's literally just a midriff window that feels really unnecessary. It's really weird. Seems like a place where swords are supposed to go. Yeah, exactly. Like bullets. <laughs> they just they're just excited to go there. Yeah, it's but when they, just for this trailer, it looks yeah. cool. There could be a different costume that you see in the movie, but even if we didn't, this looks awesome. So yeah, I really like Mary Elizabeth Winstead. I like yeah. her. In basically she's a very talented actress. Yeah, you should. Uh, 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 she was in a movie that's on Netflix. Scott Pilgrim. She's really good. Yeah, but that's not it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, moving on. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We also have Renee Montoya who shows up as, but played by Rosie Perez. Yes, and that's awesome because Renee Montoya has played, um, like, or she's been the question in the comics, which we could get a nod to that. But usually yeah. she's just herself. Yeah, it's it's funny. Like a lot of times, I guess to try and hype her up in articles, they're like, uh, the Renee Montoya, who's the question? It's like, no, Renee Montoya is Renee Montoya. Mm-hmm. That's all you need for me as a fan. That's all you need to do to sell her because she was amazing in the Batman animated series. And Rosie Perez is an amazing actress. And so it's really cool that she's going to be in this movie. And I, and uh, we see her very briefly uh, with a police baton. Yeah, and that's also <laughs> uh, they think there's a character throwing back a bottle of whiskey. They think that's her as well because, you know, that's comic book PG-13 uh, shorthand for edgy. Ooh, mm-hmm. they're drinking. Yeah. <laughs> they're drinking whiskey out of the bottle. Oh, snap. Ooh, She's about five it. seconds from taking that bottle and throwing it in the ocean with a big wave behind her. Well, oh, very <laughs> good point. Great scene. That, that, great shot. It was easy. It's that cool. Was, that was a good shot. Uh, and it would be kind of cool. I just wrote this as a note when I was taking when I was breaking down the trailer. It would yeah. be kind of cool to get a nod to Kate Kane. Yes. And it would be uh, cool to like maybe get a nod to Vic Sage. The question could be just fun. Kind of like to I mean, branch that out a little just, bit. I love Vic Sage. So I would love to see uh, more of him in anything all the time. Please and thank you. And it makes sense that um, uh, Rosie Perez would be like if Batman's been around longer. Renee Montoya has probably been fighting crime long, longer. And it's just I, I like that actress a lot. So it's cool. I think I'm excited for it. Same. I'm also excited for Cassandra Cain. Yay. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, she looks really cool in this. I like her pink cast. No, oh, yeah. Because yeah. it looks like they, they've all kind of written their own. All the Birds of Prey have written their own little thing on yeah. there for her. And like in the synopsis, it points out that she they're protecting her from... Black Mask. Yes. So and Victor Zaz, which we'll talk about both of those in just a second. But I like her look. She looks awesome. And somebody, uh, what was it? I wanted to point out. Uh, yeah, there's not too much that's like a not to her costume and her persona no. in uh, the comics. But since she's young, you could get like a younger version of Cassandra Kane that's currently in DC Comics, yeah. like teenage age, like 13, in a couple years if you wanted to, which could be cool as well. Also, her look and the whole vibe here reminds me a little bit of. Um, Leon the Professional, where that hitman takes protects a little girl, but in this version, it's like a girl gang. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Like, I'm into that. Can I point out one thing that's weird about Cassandra Kane as a character? Mm-hmm. Her code name is Orphan, right? Yeah. But she has two of the most notorious... Her parents are both are alive and exist, and we know who they are, and they're very notorious characters in the comics. Current? Yeah. Or back in the 90s? No. Yeah. Just, just now. Lady Shiva and uh, Kane, oh. who's, a, who's, a, who's an assassin. So she's not an orphan. Mm. She's like the one Batman sidekick who's definitively not an orphan, mm-hmm. but they call her orphan. Interesting. Isn't that weird? Yeah. They're... Also, it's weird to me. We have to get a nod to Lady Shiva in this, right? Uh, and we don't have to. We you don't can do whatever to. you want, but you like that'd be to. weird, right? For the people who don't know, who are the who's that? Okay, so uh, Lady Shiva is traditionally better known than Kane is, mm-hmm. uh, but Lady Shiva is hands down the best martial artist in the entire DCU. Mm-hmm. Uh, even Batman, at, at best 
fights her to a standstill. And she's in Young Justice currently. Yeah, they just introduced her in Young Justice. Very cool. Um, she's a really cool character. Kane is another Hitman figure. I think he was more created for Cassandra Kane. Yeah. Um, but uh, they had a little murder baby, and Cassandra Kane is <laughs> uh, is super dangerous. And she's she was Batgirl. She was originally introduced as a Batgirl. Really cool Batgirl uh, costume. Yeah, really cool costume. She was mute, uh, and she uh, communicated by beating people up. And mm. she's really good at that. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's cool to introduce her. I hope she's. I hope she by the end becomes the badass combatant we know. And if you're going to introduce her, I'd like to see some Lady Shiva. She'd be a cool antagonist. Either Maybe this in a movie sequel? or sequel, yeah. There you go. Uh, but we also get a cool look at our antagonist for this film. Yes. Black Mask, played by Ewan McGregor. Yay. Also, the alias Roman Sinus. Yeah. Sinus, something like that. Sinus. Sinus. Ooh, that sounds better than what I was saying. <laughs> than like a Roman sinus. 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 <laughs> yeah, a sinus infection. But you're not seeing the classic Black Mask mask in this. No. Which we might get in the trailer. I think they're probably saving that. That's yeah, going to take a little bit longer they, than the other costumes. And they call him Black Mask, so we got to see the mask, right? Yeah. But you do get a lot of the, because it's usually black and gold. Yeah. So we do get an image of him wearing gold aviators, which looks yeah, really cool. really cool. And a full black suit with a black button up. Ooh. It looks it looks spot on. If you told me this movie was set in the 80s, I'd be like, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't uh, be mad. Ewan McGregor's great. Uh, Black Mask is a cool villain. I'm going to bet you he has the mask in. Uh-oh, by the end of the movie, it gets fused to his face. Whoa. Yeah. Maybe Cassie Kane is the reason? I don't yeah. know. It could be cool, though. And the last villain that we see in this trailer in a crazy quick flash of yeah. scenes, we see Victor Zaz, played by Chris Messina. Yeah, you might have recently seen him in Sharp Objects on HBO. Ah. He's excellent in that. Uh, I've heard he's an amazing actor. I've yeah. never seen that TV show. But he's looking a lot less bald and a lot less scarred than Victor Zaz is in the comics. I'm yeah. going to guess that's probably going to change. I mean, if I don't think you, it's a full screen test for every single character. Also, if you look at it real quick, they well, I remember he was at Golden Globes or something with the blonde hair and everybody's freaking out and I didn't know it was for this. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. And you see a little bit of scars. I would imagine he's pretty covered up. So I imagine at some point the shirt's going to come off and you're going to see all those scars over his body. A little bit like Drax in like Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. It's like all those like those tattoos that they scarring that they put on him. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to have a lot of scars. That's a cool yeah. character to use as like he's a henchman. Yes. He's definitely the, like the the sub boss before you fight Black Mask. Yeah, that's hey, perfect. I yeah. Victor Zaz, any all the stories I've read, I've never really read him as the main guy. He's always yeah. been like the animal that you let loose to go yeah. mess with Batman or Robin or something. Uh, for me, he's never even really been a character. He's more of like an idea of the serial killer. So it's cool that you're gonna make him an antagonist that we need to care about. Because the last time we saw him in the movie was Batman Begins, where he was just around. He was he was oh, uh, yeah. somebody under the treatment of Scarecrow. So not only is he, does he matter in this movie, but you have a really excellent, excellent actor playing him. So, man, I'm excited for this movie. Same. Yeah. I'm so on board. But again, which character are you most excited to see on the big screen? Black Canary for me. Uh, let's say it right up front. Really excited to see Just that Just so you know, Black Canary. Let us know in the comments down below what you think of Sam wanting to see Black Canary first. Uh, I, what do you guys think if I dressed up like Black Canary for Halloween? Let me know in the comments down below. But also like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click right over... There for patreon.com slash only stupid answers where you can get bonus content like podcasts, Google Hangouts, uh, live content, movie watch alongs. There's so many good ones. You can click up here too, which is pretty good. Only stupid answers.com for everything else like podcasts, merch, what have you. But also you can go ahead and follow us on Twitter at only stupid answers. You can count the vowels from stupid if you would, please. Also at DJ Talks Trash at Sam Basher. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.